Now then, have you ever come across the term traffic lights in relation to our particular hobby? Well, if you're new to philately and you haven't heard that term, then this little video might be of interest to you. So before we get into it, let me just have a very quick chat about this set of stamps. On the 13th of August 1975, this commemorative set of stamps celebrating the 150th anniversary of public railways was released by the British Post Office. They were designed by Brian Cracker and printed by Harrison and Sons and feature four different passenger trains from four different time periods. Starting on the top left here, we have the George Stevenson's locomotion train from 1825 on the seven pence stamp, the Waverley class from 1876 on the eight pence stamp, the 1923 Great Western Railway Castle class on the 10 pence stamp, and finally the 1975 intercity high speed train. Now what do these four particular stamps have to do with the term traffic lights? Well let me show you. I've got three panes or blocks of never hinged mint examples of these set of stamps. The 7, 10 and 12 pence. Unfortunately I am missing the 8 pence block. Now if we take a look at these dots here, they are commonly known as traffic lights and you can see why. They have a vague resemblance to our traffic lights on our roads. Anyway, these particular traffic lights are colour registration dots and come in different shapes and sizes. Harrison used dots, Quester used cues and was it Waddington that used squares? I can't remember, I'm sure you will correct me. These dots, or lights, correspond to a colour used to print a particular stamp. So if we look at these two examples here, the 10 pence and 12 pence stamp, we can see that six different colours were used in the printing of each particular set of stamps but only five colours were used in printing the seven pence stamp. And in this particular case, the traffic lights are printed in the margin. If the lights were printed in the central gutter, as they are here, then these two stamps would be known as traffic light gutter pairs. Also shown to great effect, on this set of stamps. Without the traffic lights, it's just a gutter pair, of which I have this set here. Interestingly, in 1993, when the £10 Britannia stamp was issued, the Royal Mail didn't announce the colours used to print the stamp to prevent potential forgeries being made. Now then, how much would you expect to pay for a set of these traffic light gutter pairs? from this particular set of stamps. Well, in mint condition, about two pound for each pair. So a total of eight pounds for the entire set of trains. And if you have the entire set of gutter pairs without the traffic lights, like I do have here, well, they'll cost you about two pound 50. However, if you have the PHQ cards of these stamps, they're worth about £35 for the entire set, so not a bad return really. Alright, that just about wraps this one up. I hope you found it interesting. Please do subscribe to the channel for more content. More videos are on their way. Please hit that like button if you've liked it, and do share this video around as it helps with the analytics. Anyway, thanks for watching if you have, and until the next one, Bye for now.